Now the most important part here is that since we do have what we consider a compromised system, how do we handle this system from the beginning on so that there's no potentially no threat that it, it, it exposes to the rest of our environment? Now, if we consider you know, this machine being part of a bigger enterprise environment, we don't want to have our enterprise at risk. We want to make sure that this system is contained as quickly as possible. And in order to do so, we also do not want to destroy any evidence or delete any files or actually just even tamper with or modify the operating system itself. So the first thing we can do is just go ahead, since this is a virtual machine, and pause the virtual machine because that is going to make sure that we will not be losing anything of the current state. We'll actually be able to preserve the memory first of all before we then move into saving and exporting the disk image. Now, to do that in VirtualBox, we can just go up here, click on Machine, and pause. So the next thing that we want to be doing as part of a data acquisition process is we want to preserve the state of this machine. So now it is paused, and in order to preserve the state of this machine, with virtual machines, it's pretty straightforward because virtual machines allows us to take snapshots. And if we go back to our VirtualBox manager, on our host system. We can go here and select our virtual machine, go to snapshots, and now take another snapshot, which is basically the current state as it is after the attack. Let's click on take. Let's just call it after attack. Let's do OK. Now, anytime when we might want to resume the VM in a safe environment and investigate it live, or when we want to share the particular state of this VM as part of the after attack. Now we can just use the snapshot, export it and share it. So now here we have the snapshot and now we can proceed with extracting and imaging the memory and the disk of this machine.